everybody. Welcome back to Bar Run Forge. It is Thursday evening, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you are here. It's opening day. It's opening day. That's true. It's baseball's opening day. Is there any other kind of opening day other than forge opening, opening day? day? No. It's just Stay opening day. Open if you're in the Cincinnati area, there is only one opening day. As far as they're Hailed concerned. Is quite possibly the best. MLB it is. opening day. Yeah. Uh, everybody else is just an imitator. Everybody so else is a tater. That's right. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Then we can kind of get talking and get going here. Uh, Mr. Jeff Woodring he says his uh, surgery is getting postponed to the 10th. Jeff Killian is recovering from knee surgery, knee replacement. Hopefully continuing to do well. Talked to him earlier. Dana Maggiore, who got a job, hey. so we're praising the Lord for that. Mr. Kyle Jones is talking about rain today and snow next week in April, which is coming up on Miss Grace's birthday. Birthday. We'll be one years old. Roger Caldwell's in here. Did a great job on his boot scraper. Mr. Thomas Goody Moot, goodiest of the moots himself. Mr. Rob at Granddad's Forge is here. Good stuff. All right. I think we got everybody. There's Eric at Punkin Patch Forge and Ironworks, yeah. and uh, we are yeah. one month away from the end of the gathering. A month from today, the gathering will be over. Over. Yes. That's kind of like almost sad to think of. I'm gonna cover your face. Talk about the gathering. Kenny at Metal Man Productions is here. The gathering. Yeah. You say. Well, let's talk about the gathering. The gathering is our now fourth annual event yep yeah our fourth annual event that we have here at uh bar run forge here in southern here ohio at, what here at here here at here uh, <laughs> be tomorrow fantastic brother uh anyway the gathering right here at bar run forge fourth year in a row we've got some that are our originals and we just heard from a couple of them that are are not or may not be able to make it for it which kind of makes us sad, but hopefully things will work out. If not, they can come see us anytime if they want to. And if you guys are planning on coming, it is an event that is uh, of multiple use, we'll say. Yeah. Uh, you can come here and just hang out. I talked with Brian from the Vineyard Farmhouse. Uh, he is very sad that he can't come. And Brian's not a blacksmith, and probably he, said, he told me the other day, he said, I really have no intention of ever blacksmithing, but... It's fascinating, and I love watching it. And he said, then I hung out with all you guys, and I thought it was even better. I thought it was fantastic. So he's going to a meetup in Oklahoma and decided to stop here. It's that same weekend. Decided to stop here on his way there and possibly on his way back. Uh, <laughs> he's coming from upstate New York. So uh, just one of those things that's kind of made an impact uh, on some people's lives. Like, well, that's the thing we're going to plan on doing in April is – the last weekend in April, we're headed to Southern Ohio to Bar Run Forge. We get to go. You get you get all the F's that we've talked about: the fellowship, the the fun, the food, the forging, the food, the frivolities, the f uh, food, food, and then Sunday morning we get the faith, faith, and then the and more food. Uh, so there's plenty of that. And uh, I was talking to a friend of yeah. mine the other day. They've been talking about coming for the weekend, yeah. uh, part of the weekend. They own a nursery, not not like babies, like flowers and stuff, and uh, a big, a fairly decent-sized farm. Of course, it's smack dab in the middle of, like, planting and all that kind of stuff. And I mentioned what we will likely be having Saturday evening, and they were like, oh, we'll be there all day. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there all day in yeah. his son. So it's kind of cool because he's bringing his son. I'm here with my son, it's just kind son. of one of those things. It's kind of a family thing too, and, and we're you always, guys we're that are always with the son. That's right, uh, and and you some of you guys are coming with family, so that's awesome. So it's not only become we that's the other F that we can throw in there is family, Fam family, yeah, family, family. Uh, and then while I was talking to Brian uh, from the Vineyard Farmhouse, he was like, and I just had such a good time just talking with your mom. And so, you know, it's just stuff like that that really kind of encourages us yeah. to do the to do the thing here. And uh, so anyway, April 26th through the 28th, uh, a free event. If you guys don't know about the gathering, uh, it, it's a free event here. 
Uh, we have space for tent camping. We have space for truck camping. <laughs> we got a couple Speaking people. Of just, trucks, you know what just advertisement kinda, I just got? No. Ram. Ram. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about Coors? Coors. <laughs> So, out about with Dave and Daisy, how are you, how are you? And Bobby Loomis popped in here. Robert Loomis, the treadle shed, who made an absolutely gorgeous boot scraper. Shocker. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Shock look I'm on my face. I'm not even worthy to scrape my boots. That's what I told him. <laughs> Is that what you said? That's what I said. Uh, I, I, it's too pretty to even scrape my boots on. Huh? I told him, I said, that's too pretty for me to even scrape my boots on. Yeah. Mr. Ben Toombs on vacation in Montana. Jealous. Jealous. No, Montana. Montana. Right. <laughs> so that free event, free food, uh, free just fellowship, you know, hang out. We're going to have some new stuff going on. The shop is... is some new stuff. Good grief. There's a lot of new stuff old here. Old shop back here. Right. Uh, you know, there's a brand brand spanking new shop set up going yeah. on, happening right now. Uh, you know, we got to talking about the things that weren't here last year. And there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. I mean, just... Greta? Yeah. Greta is new. Missed it by a, a minute, but yeah. Uh-huh. Treadle, uh, treadle hammer. Little, little red whacker over there. Yep. Uh, the treadle hammer. The drill press. Drill press. Uh, the plasma table's up and working. Plasma table. I was fully functioning. That. I was going to save that. Talk about the other stuff in there first. Oh. Talk about that. Okay. And then, and then over here, uh, there is about a seven or eight foot long uh, big metal lathe from probably the 20s. Yeah. Sitting right on the other side of this wall. Right here is sitting a big Gorton 9J mill. Yep. Um, massive mill. Big fella. My tractor can lift up about 3,000 pounds or so, and it did not want to lift it on a pallet. Uh, and that's without the head on it. So we put the head on there. I mean, this thing's probably over 4,000 pounds easily. It's easily big a easily two ton piece. And so, yeah, I mean, and then we got some of the wood shop stuff in there. We just, I just stacked up probably a I don't know, ton and a half worth of rough saw and another kind of lumber up on uh, yep. pallet racking. There's woodworking tools back there. We're getting ready to uh, run the electric back to there to get all that going. Whew. And I got the door framed out, ready to cut the hole to put the door in in between the two shops. Uh, by the time these guys a, get here in a month. Welding table on the way. There's yeah, got a, a big, got a big uh, grinder on the way. Right. Big vice on the way. Yeah. There's a, a fireball tool style yeah, vice. Yeah, yeah. Am I missing something? Uh, man, I don't know. So yeah, all yeah. that stuff rocking and rolling, man. Yeah. We got we got a big pile of coal in, uh, yep. some fresh coal that's yep. doing pretty good. Yep. Uh, man, I don't know. Then we got we're gonna make a little bit of adjustments on the hey. power hammer, so the power hammer is cruising and, and rocking and rolling. Troy shop snack and refreshment fun. I like it. I like it. Speaking of like shop sandwich. snacks, guess what I found at Tractor Supply today? Dots. 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 Southwest, Southwest pretzels. pretzels. Yeah, and I couldn't help yeah, it. buddy. If you guys can find them, on, Dots Southwest way. Pretzels are addictive. Oh, yeah. They are they are coated in something that will just have you frothing at the mouth for more of them. And here's the problem. Hershey just bought them out. And so, they shut the plant down. <laughs> Problem now, potential better in the future. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and Bobby says you have another weld welding table coming. Well, it's more like a work table. Work table, yeah. But it is a metal table that can be used for welding. Yep. Uh, it'll have the vice on it. It'll have the bench grinder. The hey, belt, there you go. Belt grinder. And then it'll also be set up to, to do larger fabrication on, as opposed to the fixture table. The yeah. titanium fixture table, which Bobby has one of those. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Grain Dust says dots are everywhere in Pennsylvania. Well, get them now, man. Yep. Get them now. Uh, New York hot soft pretzels. And salt. Yeah, that's good stuff, too. So, anyway, that's some of the stuff that's going on there. That's not even all of it. I mean, it's it'll be more than that. And basically, all of the welding fabrication stuff is going on the other side. So, almost everything in here will just be forging. And then we got an amazing plan for over where the plasma table is yeah. that will be hopefully coming this year. Yeah. That will be game changer. 
Speaking of the plasma table. Yes, go ahead, plasma Eli. Plasma table, plasma cutter is up and running. We finally got it back from our good friends at Prime World. Again, can't talk about them enough. Their customer service is a top notch. Yep. So if you're interested in the plasma cutting or welding, Prime World, top tier. Yeah, I mean, if you are if you are looking for a plasma cutter, uh, and price-wise, these guys are pretty good on yeah. price, too. Prime Weld, the Prime Weld Cut 60, if you're okay with a 220 level plasma cutter uh the prime world cut 60 very nice yeah. easy to work uh yeah. just and, and like i said their customer service that's one of the things when i look at something i think okay what's their customer service i'm going to try to make sure i can get this thing taken care of uh you know a lot of people talk about the harbor freight stuff but i've had no issue with harbor freight uh and i buy the i buy the warranties and i know some of them are only as good as the paper they're written on but man mm -hmm. oh man uh, I've had nothing but great success, great but Prime success. Well, definitely great Prime success. Well. I would definitely uh, point you towards them, and the Langmuir uh, plasma table. Yeah. We got the the just the fire. What is it? Uh, that's a good I don't know question. that it has one. Is it? Great question. Yeah, but it's the basic. It's the two by two. Um, and it, we're, we're quite pleased with it. Yep. I mean, right now, we, it was kind of a crazy thing. We were getting almost to the point where we were just ready to get rid of the dumb thing. And uh, Eli came across a licensing that we were missing. Yeah. We purchased the license and bada bing, bada boom. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen. Our first product, product. Product, yes. Off of the line. Yeah, buddy. Right here. Yeah. yeah, it's called the Crossfire. crossfire that's right. That's right. Yep. Not the Pro, just so the Crossfire. The very first pro, uh, bar, run far, bar Run Forge, bar run forge. Yeah. product off of the CNC plasma table. Right there. Yeah, buddy. And Eli's got multiple designs geared up and ready to go. And uh, so our plan for that is yeah. okay. We talk about our plan Absolutely. for that. Okay. So our plan for that is, uh, and we'll be very, very clear about this, is not a replacement. Uh, or a competition with a certain individual. <laughs> no, yes. honestly, Thomas and, and, and Roy and Jessica at Chrysler Ironworks have been phenomenal. We've got their blanks over here. Uh, the majority of what we will do will be for our usage right. uh, here in the Forge. And, and at the same time, we have some other products that we yep. want to put, put out that do not compete. Right, right with them or some of our other friends who do this. Yeah. We, we, we're trying to be very intentional about that is to not compete product for product with them. Right. Uh, so we're going to have some other products uh, come out very, very soon. That'll be on the website. Yeah, buddy. And uh, so you'll be able to purchase blanks or completed projects. Yep. Uh, we're, we'll try to do it that way as well. Yep. So it's exciting. And, you know, you know, we're, we've got, <laughs> Several things. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that first night we were starting to crank them out. Eli and I just looked at each other and did fist bumps. Yeah. It's like, Another successful that worked. One. Another Boom. successful that one. Worked. Yep. Boom. That worked. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. It's uh, it's exciting for us. It's just one of those things. Yes, the prime wheel can cut uh, half inch, and I think it probably cut it more than that. struggled, but it did cut three quarter. Yeah. 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 We were able to cut through three quarter. I don't know that I would put... Anything, half inch would be pushing it on the table. Right. If you're doing hand cuts, I think you can successfully do half inch well. Yeah. Uh, I think if you go beyond that, you're going to be really struggling. Yeah. But if you got good power, you got good air, I think you can yep. easily do, not easily, but do half inch. I don't think it's that. Jeff that Killian, to your comment, that's, that's kind of one of the main reasons we got one was every show that we ever do, people always ask for like the BRF sign up there, yeah. that kind of stuff. That stuff sells all day. Yeah. So it's not necessarily what we wanted to do, but we got enough requests for it and know that we can do it. It's a money maker. And that also, again, allows us to... If we want to project something made, we don't have to, you know, like Send Cut Send, for example. We were we were going to them for a certain piece that now we can just 
cut out ourselves. Mm -hmm. Or if we have something that, you know, we need instantly for a project, we can cut it out ourselves. So right. It, right. again, the, the main piece, obviously we're going to have blanks like dad said on the website, but the main thing was that we can just cut out the stuff that we want to do for projects and stuff. Right. And, yep. And, and, you know, uh, the two questions about cutting half inch, is that something that can do or something we'll ever need? Well, we do have a couple thoughts on some projects that it would come in handy to have three eighths or half inch right. to make these particular, uh, you know, what we wanted to do was look at maybe some blacksmithing type tools, some decor, and also some just useful things <laughs> uh, as, as well. Uh, <laughs> so, so that was kind of the idea. And, and when it comes to the personalized signs, as he said, it wasn't something that we really wanted to do, but we understand it's like sharp pointy things. Yep. You make those because they sell, they put money in your pocket. Uh, so if you do that stuff in stainless steel and flame color, oh yeah, yeah no doubt about it. Flame colors from stainless. Uh, Robert Wayne well, this is in England. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, we're, we're excited about that. That's just another layer uh, to some of the things we can do here. Uh, and part of the reason why that's going to come into play here this year, you know, we're going to get to forging here in just a second. I got a project and I'll kick this back on, um, is uh, we actually leased out our farm ground for the year. And uh, the part of the reason for that is just to kind of get some things taken care of on the farm. We've got a couple uh, barns that have been damaged that I just haven't had the time to be able to fix yeah. and some other projects on the farm and uh, Mike ah, got a problem with your mic apparently. I know, I've been working on it. Work, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's the plan there to try to get that uh, kind of caught up. There's some equipment needs that need to be taken care of. That, like I said, it just we just haven't had uh, funds and time to take care of, and we're going to use this time to do that. While we're doing that, we wanted to go ahead and increase uh, the shop and the shop capabilities so that the shop will actually start making money. Uh, we have been slightly more than self-sustaining yeah. uh, over the last probably year and a half yeah. to, to or so. So we just we kind of made the decision like, well, okay, let's make that next step to actually make the business of bar run forge profitable now a business to make some money as a business so that's that's the intent for that right now so we'll still have plenty to do on the farm there just won't be the actual planting and harvesting by us the people who are renting uh leasing the ground from us i actually do some farm work with them and for them so chances are you'll probably see videos of me working on the farm here yeah. with their equipment yeah <laughs> So, uh, here, here's the key to, to the, to the plasma cutter. If you guys are asking questions about the plasma cutter and the plasma table, uh, I can tell you a decent amount about the plasma cutter. I can tell you a little bit about the table and the things that go with it. Uh, when it comes to the computer and the, and the other side of things, that's the guy back there. I'm going to do my dead level best to not <laughs> get in the uh, way and push buttons. Up. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's something that he has a he has a skill to be able to do and the design work he's really good at that so uh, that's all stuff I'm handing handing over to him because it's just not my thing and you know I told him I said you get me files ready you tell me where to go and what to do and put on there there it goes <laughs> I'll hook it up I'll take care of it so that's that's the intent for that is design work and the and the computer side of things Eli's going to handle and kind of basically doing a lot of the cutting and the set up and yep. the preparation and all that kind of stuff will fall on on me and then you know some of the forging of certain items like the bottle openers is entirely eli eli does all of that so yep so that it's exciting we're, we're looking forward to it and uh the possibilities that come from it uh i wanted to go ahead and show you since we showed you that i wanted to show you uh we've been working on our boot scraper the last boot couple scraper. weeks <laughs> in our live streams. So this is the final product of the boot scraper, uh, all assembled and done. I had to get that done for our blacksmith challenge, the group that we're all in together. And, uh, so there it is. There it is. It's got the, the scroll 
the scroll item yep. you're supposed to have, yep. and I fluted it. It's got some fluting on either sides right there. Fluting. Did a twist, an all hand uh, mortise and tenon, and tapered so it'll drive into the ground. So that's my entry. There and that's, you go. That's my uh, uh, boot scraper that's probably going to be at our front door at the house. So before we come in the house, that'll be it. Now, one of the things I did, I kind of had fun with this, is I curved this section right here. So, that, you know, sometimes you get mud on the top of your boots. Yeah. It's to put your boot in and kind of back scrape and get the mud off that way. So that was kind of the reason why I did that. It's got a little bit of a curve. So you can do that um, that way. So there's my boot scraper. And uh, then we're making, we made some uh, axe eye drifts and stuff like that for an axe we're doing for one of Eli's uh, co workers, supervisor type people. Nice. It's just a co worker. Huh? It's just a co worker. It's just a coworker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, things are really kind of cooking along here. I'm excited. Yeah. So, what are we going to do tonight? You might ask. Well, we're going to take this piece of half inch. I think that's half inch. Where's my. Do dad. Over here. Dastardly. Call me, call me. Okay, so that's that's actually uh nine sixteenths. Is that? It's thicker than yeah, it's nine sixteenths. Huh. Anyway, it's a little bit thicker round bar. Uh and we're gonna make a hanging plant stand. Uh, to go on a post. Now, I know that's a lot of material for a plant stand, uh, but so our friend that has the greenhouse, uh, the nursery, their hanging plants uh, are really big. They're heavy really duty. good size. They're heavy duty. And so we we offer them, uh, in fact, we supply all of their plant stands, both drive in the ground and uh, post hanging plant stands. So I'm going to try this one in a little bit different style. And... Uh, Go from there. And I see uh, maybe Monica in there from Bland's Promised Land Ranch. Which I'm going to try to be live on their stream tonight. I think Eric's either out of town or working late or something like that. Hmm. So she's asked me to come in and torment her a little bit. So I, I was more than happy to do that. Good deal. Let's see if there's anybody else in here. Any other comments going on? I can tell. We've got 20 people, 20 people in the people chat. In the chat. Oh, uh, huh? we didn't talk about the, the podcast while I'm working over here. You want to yeah. tell them yeah. about the podcast? The podcast is up um, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Is the Forge and Faith podcast. The episode this week will not be on Friday. It will be on Sunday. Because that is when we also do our Sundays with Seven, which coincidentally, co coincidentally, whatever you want to call it, is Easter Sunday. That'll be a good one. Monica? So they, so they, they had this misconception about my size. Yeah. That they... Somehow, for some reason, thought I was like six two or six foot or something like that, and I'm like, and then they find out that I'm five ten, and so Monica Monica starts making all the short jokes and the tiny jokes for my size. That's not a good way to get me to come on the live stream, there, Monica. Doesn't exactly, not exactly enticing. No, I am not a tall guy. I don't care that I'm not a tall guy. I'm five foot ten. It is what I am. It's actually pretty close to the American average height. So there you go. I'm an average guy. I'm an average guy. And I don't care. Yes, you are. What's that? Are you a lumberjack? I'm okay. Yeah. Work all night and I sleep all day. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, geez. Here it comes. 
All the short jokes. Don't pick on Ben. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Reds 182, that's right. <laughs> Over the, what Eli calls the Walgreens Nationals. Yeah, if you look at the W on the on the on the logo. It's Walgreens. Yeah, guys, I Well, there are multiple things. They were the Expos. Yeah. The senators? Well, no, Washington had the Senators, but uh, Montreal was an expansion team of the Dodgers. You know, I bet could tell you all the history about that. Uh, uh, the person that's saying it right now, Daniel Baca. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even have to look up. Nope. Not at all. Yeah, they, they were they were a farm team uh, of the Dodgers. They then the. Well, there was the Senators, and then they were, yeah, there's a whole big long history with that. Huh. Montreal is actually where Jackie Robinson started with the Dodgers. That was, he was in the minors. Really? The farm team with the, and then the Expos actually became a professional team in Montreal. When Montreal hosted the, the year that they hosted the World Expo. And so they, that's how they got the name, the Expos. Huh. The Exposition. Well, there you go. So I'm doing a two-sided taper to form a leaf. We're going to make a leaf and then fold it back over the top of itself. So I'm going to switch hammers here for a second. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go over to the, to the guillotine tool because we have it. Sounds like you're breaking stuff. Throw that there. So we'll take the guillotine tool and isolate a portion behind it. The reason we want to do that in the round is so you don't get a cold shut on the back side of it. There you go. You sent an email to the bar run for it? Yeah, she just sent it and I got okay. it. Or saw it. Okay. It was really loud. <laughs> How are you? already baking time. Is it really? Sure is. 
Sure is. Monica, was the, the maple bacon cotton candy really that bad? Because, I mean, that's like my jam. Ma maple bacon, you can't get much better other than maybe maple bacon donut. Always out of that guy in Frankfurt, Kentucky, at a uh -huh. Ashley. He made a maple waffle with caramel covered ice cream. Okay. You had me at maple. Now we'll be back over here. Another five and a half gallons today. I like it. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So now I've got the leaf area isolated. I'm going to taper it back just a little bit away from it. get all that done before I start making the leaf because I'll have a tendency to flop and create a stress fracture. Got a uh, fancy leaf form from a good friend. From a good friend. A very good friend. <laughs> Jeff Gillian, are you the one with the bionic knee now? <laughs> Do that one more time and then rasp it, hot rasp it. <laughs> Kyle Jones asked if they put a Zerk fitting in it. I I don't know why that's not a thing. Yeah. Just like a Zerk to put in shark cartilage or something, you know. Synovial fluid? Synovial fluid. All Is that joints. part of the synovial accords? Yeah. Or is that a Camry? Yeah. The <laughs> Lee Majors and the Bionic Killian. <laughs>
All right, one more heat. We get the hot rasp out. And then we'll make us a, a leaf. A leaf, you say? I do say. Another brush. Now we'll make a leaf. Basically, right now it looks like a spear point. <laughs> a Roman pylum, perhaps. Right. Hit it like it owes you money. <laughs> Wait, where is our fancy form? There it is. All right, up on the point. See, we're making our leaf. Now we'll do the spreading it up, spreading it out a little bit, and then texture it. As one thing I have learned on leaves. Number one is to do that round isolation. And then the other thing is put, only do the two-sided taper. Yeah. All right, let's put this right here. Do it again. Ooh. <laughs> it did not like me. idea all right yep okay now get to heat it up real good put our fancy leafing swedge up here and put it in the right orientation 
and this will give a nice, really cool texture. To that leaf. As long as you leave the a ridge on it. Four thousand thumb screws. <laughs> oh my. It's going to take a lot of thumbs. time. This is a really nice switch. I love this thing. There we go. Much better. Look at that. Then we'll throw in a little bit of hammer texture. Just a bit. Okay, leaf is done. Now we gotta contour it. To do that, we'll go in the other part of this leafing switch. Or we can use the old wood block, which we've done multiple times, with the ball peen hammer. Okay. Okay, hi to John and bye to Dana. Bye to who? Dana. Bye, Dana. Who? Who? Okay, so there is our completed leaf. Very nice. Very nice. With all the contours and the textures. So put our toys away. <laughs> So then the, what we're going to do now, um, for instance, if you were normally doing this, this would be like a, whatever finial you're choosing, and it would be scrolled over just a little bit to hang your plant. So we're essentially what we're going to do is we're going to roll this leaf back into it, and then we're going to make our hook. Um, in fact, I may make the hook first. We're going to make our hook to hook the plant on, 
and then I'll fold that leaf down and then we'll wrap it around the uh, the big part of the the yeah, form. To do that, we get out another jig. <laughs> Do a jig. Yeah, do a jig. You know what? Better do that because it's long. Yeah. So what kind of projects are everybody working on in their shop? Got to find that out. What's going on? Or not in their shop, maybe in their homestead or whatever else is going on. Try to keep an eye on this thing. And <laughs> not dad burn it. Not dad burn it. At 12 ball peen hammers, Kyle says. <laughs> I got to remember how this goes in because have to make sure it bends the right way. Right. Tying flies. I like that. Eric made a wooden bench from our own mill pine. Well, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Mr. Brittinghammer Forge. Haven't said hi to them yet. Sailfish sculpture. Mm. Well, don't be selfish about it. Mm. I am sorry. So I did over, you can see I kind of over bent it just a little bit, but we're going to turn that leaf back on itself here in just a second. Show us how. Maybe. Nope, need to get it hotter. Tell you what, I have been very encouraged yeah. by a lot of things going on right now, and uh, just, just such a cool time. 
need to get that a little bit hotter. Context for what you're talking about, or well, I mean, the, the we were talking about being at church the other day, and a lot of great positive things going on at the church, and uh, you know, here at the shop, and you know, when I when I first talked about the prospect of not doing the farming this year, I, I was you know I was pretty disappointed. I was kind of kind of down, so to speak, but more and more, yeah. yeah. More and more I talk about it. This has really turned out to be a really good, I think, a really good decision. And like I said, there's a lot going on at the church that's very positive. Uh, life is good, man. We're stupid blessed. Roger Caldwell said, so at least we got your taters planted. And I got my taters planted. If nothing else. Okay, I think we got done what we wanted to get done there. Here's what we were going for, yeah. and you can see the tip of the leaf is just off center, like it's kind of draping down over there. That was what I was really kind of hoping for. Just something a little different yeah. from the norm. All right, so let's start heating up the big part. So we start making the big long bend. John said it looks like the mallet you have from an orc. <laughs> that is homegrown Osage orange right here. All of it. Handle and everything. Osagi. Osage. <laughs> And there's more out there. <laughs> A couple of them. I imagine working on it right now. And, ooh. Because it's set for like four years. Yeah. It doesn't get easier to work as it lays there and right. cures. So we got this big bending jig over here. Uh, I'll hook the, the big hook in it. And we'll see how it goes from there. It'll have to be done in multiple heats because that's a that's a long bend. Yeah. You might be able to do it if you were in here in the gas forge, but the old hedge apple, that's right. <laughs> Eli says no, y'all man. It's... No, Daniel Baca <laughs> says that. Not Eli. oh, Daniel Baca. Sorry. <laughs> yep, Osage Orange, also known as Hedge Apple, Hedge. There's a bunch of other ones. People call it second densest wood in North America. No, I think it's third. Second or third densest wood in second. North America. There you go. 
we'll, we'll go get big chunks of Osage well, and everybody make a mallet. No, not processing <laughs> all that nonsense. <laughs> Who won the Big Bird mallet way back in the day? Uh, the JT? I think it was JT. Yeah. JT Barrett. JT Barrett. So who's everybody root for in baseball, Major League Baseball, since it's opening day? Well, John, if you want some Osage to make a longbow out of, come get it. <laughs> I will get you some. I will definitely get you some Osage. <laughs> There's still plenty to be had. And I just stacked up, I don't know, probably about 900 pounds of it. Yeah. If not more. There's also a giant log of it out in uh, Georgetown. Ohio. Yeah, there's a Georgetown, Kentucky. There's a log that took Ohio. two skid loaders. Huh? Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> it took two skid loaders to, to lift it, and they basically didn't lift it. They just kind of rolled it and dropped it. Yeah. They had the big grapples on them, grabbed a hold of it, and they both went, bonk. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can bend a little bit. A little bit. Need some more heat. This is where it gets fun. Like on these, if you don't have enough heat, you'll get a bend in the wrong spot. Like right there. Then you gotta hammer it into place. Which I don't really want to do, but... Might knock your jig back into place too. What's that? Your jig. Kind of coming up. Commercial? <laughs> Gonna see the uh, why not run a commercial yeah. hey everybody welcome back to bar run forge it's troy and today's video sponsor is have you ever had a stair crumbled up and torn apart shiny forge weld i wonder whether you should have had neutral flame or an oxidizing heat while searching for your favorite toilet spoon to prong some white powdered crystal metal glue well that's what it's like when you don't have christ centered ironworks brand flux when you grab a hold of a box of Christ Center and Ironworks brand flux, you feel like you've put the power of Hephaestus in the palm of your hand. And now you may even muster up the gumption to force scroll work without even using a hammer. So pick up a box of Christ Center and Ironworks brand flux today before you fall into a state of utter chaos that'll have you questioning your very existence. Flux. Christ Center Ironworks brand flux is not a registered trademark and is not available in 49 of the 50 states, especially in that state up north. Buy yours now for just 12 easy payments of $29.95, payable only in quarters. Caution, Christ Centered Ironworks brand Flux may cause severe irritation to Roy Adams. Please avoid using the words Christ Centered Ironworks brand Flux around Roy. Do not use Christ Centered Ironworks brand Flux in the vicinity of Roy Adams or he will be forced to tackle you to the ground and bludgeon you. 
Avoid saying the phrase flux, flux, flux. It will only anger Roy Adams and throw him into fits of temper and force him into a Roy rant, and no one wants that. Christ Centered Ironworks brand flux may cause eye irritation, runny nose, skin lesions, bad hair days, poorly fitting fire chaps, rheumatiz, slicing golf shots, uneven tire wear, pixies to appear, rickets, hammer toe, volatile screaming fits, unusual beard growth, ingrown toenails, silly songs with Larry, a mess, a giggling Jessica, and definitely not better forge weld. Please use responsibly. Christ Centered Ironworks brand flux. I put that flux. on everything. Back. From that brief commercial break. Brief commercial. Put that flux on everything. Huh? That would be if uh, you were selling Fruit of the Loom. What's that? It'd be a brief commercial. Brief commercial. <laughs> Put that flux on everything. We're getting there. We are getting there. Barf briefs. Barf you know. Briefs. Right across there. Never do that again. <laughs> Barf. And our subscribership just dropped in half. <laughs> Speaking of subscribership, yep. we're less than 250 away from five. I mean, we're not like the Blands with like 30,000 or anything, but... We are 4.75. Accurate number. We are. Yeah, we're not big shots like them. Forty-seven fifty-one. I told you we were under. progress here. Yeah. Post more Shed to House videos, you'll get there in seconds. <laughs> Although, the last two videos with mine are over 2,000. Yeah. And they're above. Talk to me when you're at 250. You stop. <laughs> yeah. We all know who everybody loves. Everybody uh, loves Eli. Video on that sucker has my face. there. Almost. Weak. So basically what we're going to do, probably going to have just enough time to get this bend done. I may start on the bottom. Main reason why I wanted to get that loop done is so we can see how much distance down uh, we're going to need, it's a heavier one, so, you know, usually I only put like two screws, screw holes. This one I'll probably put three. Looks like the Kelsey brothers. <laughs> Which one do you look like, Eli? 
What's that? Which one of the Kelsey brothers do you look like? It, oh, I'm definitely Jason. <laughs> I'm the big cuddly teddy bear. That wasn't obvious enough. My hands over the fire. We did a production run of those. We did what, like 12? One yeah. He said that they're confused as why one of the Kelsey brothers are farming. <laughs> I can see it. He's got a little bit of that look to him. You mean that Roush look? Huh? It, they got the Roush look? Oh, okay. Crooked. Fix it now. He's confused. Now, what are you doing? I was just doing some straightening. Ah. There's a little crook at the end there. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, it needs to be held into the fire. Soften it a bit. Crooked. Might have done it. Yeah, it's much more gooder. Yeah. yeah. All right, give her a brush. Handle it. 
Like a really big fish hook. It is. Was it? Uh, what was the character in Moana? Had the fish hook. Oh, uh, Maui. Maui. What can I say? That welcome. Okay. So there's the leaf, hook, and hook. Okay. So then the next part is to get an idea how much we need and see if there's any we need to take <clears> off. <throat> and I think we can take off a little bit. About right there. Because we're going to flatten this just a bit and then uh, put holes in it. That's our time. 42. Okay. Power hammer? What's that? Do that power hammer? Uh, I don't think so. As far as the. Flattening it? No. No, I don't need to do that. I'm just, I'm not going to completely flatten it. I'm just going to put a flat side on it and then dimple for three holes and drill those out. Okay. What? Can I have that? Have what? The soft hammer. Oh, I guess so. Thanks, sir. Will you drill or punch? Get, the answer is both. Give me get you a snack while I'm up. <laughs> what? Let me get you a snack and a drink while I'm up. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, I got a drink. I'm good. Thank you, though. Anything for you else for you, my liege? <laughs> yes. I was in the doctor today, and, and the girl said, can I have your birth date? And I said, yeah, 4373. She said, oh, you got a birthday coming up. I said, yeah, 51. She said, oh, you know, of course, she said, you're just a baby, and blah, 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 blah. She said, what you asked for your birthday? And I said, peace and quiet. She said, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I said, yes, it does. Yes, it does. There we go. Hot cut. Hot cut. <laughs> Read what John put in there. Dirt bike muffler. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nice. Pick an area that's a little bit more rounded because I don't want too sharp right there. Let me do it right there on the horn. <coughs> Get it started. Wouldn't that be faster with a grinder? Sure. 
Not traditional. Yes, it would. Yes and no. Yeah. Because if I had to go grind that, I'd had to cool it down because that's not good on the grinder. And then I had to put it over in the vise. I had to go get the grinder out. I had to mark it, cut it. Over here, I had it hot. Bang, 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 all the way around. And if you cut it that way that I just did all the way around, the end, the end will actually kind of give it a round yeah. end to it. It won't be flat. So there's some distinct advantages to, I mean, I often cut with a grinder, but for that particular one, the best thing to do was indeed hot cut. Yep. Indeed. Now we're looking here. This. <laughs> that reminds me of that chicken. Uh, when I was butchering that one chicken, and I, I blew the air under the skin, but I poked too far, yeah. and the chicken went. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it really did. Actually did sound like one of those rubber chickens. Yeah. Whoever's doing those videos, it's pretty sharp. What's that? The the chicken oh, what's it called? The guy that does the songs with the squeaky chicken. Are you serious? You're messing with me. I'm trying to think of who who it is. The one was called Worship Chicken, like the Worship Chicken. Oh, yeah. That's what it's called, right? No, that's not what it's called. Heck of Did the second challenge the chicken sound like it was crying? Yeah. No. No. No, the chicken's head wasn't attached. Hmm. Was it? Yes, it was. No. Because just... we were just skinning it. I was just skinning it, so the head was still attached. Let's some more of it up.
Like I said, I don't know that this will get done tonight, but it'll be close. Oops. No, I'm not trying to bend it. I'm using the round of the horn of the anvil as a fuller, bottom fuller. Yes, absolutely. Same same noise as when you reach up in there and pull stuff out, but sometimes it'll make that Yeah. You, peace dragon see you later yeah you try to get it down as far as you can get it as far as the neck goes gosh when we had those big uh, jumbo Cornish cross that was a two striker yeah Chicken farts. <laughs> of course, the kids think that. Oh, chicken farts. <laughs> About to the end. I think we're going to get it. Pretty daggone close. Uh-huh. Pretty close. Yep. There a little bit. We'll clean up on that. Then we'll go through with the round punch. Mark for some holes. Processing a turkey. <laughs> uh, my guess is we will have ham. And unfortunately, not a homegrown one.
get that one marked. Yep. Yeah, we'll be able to have these marked, and then I think that's going to be it for tonight. <laughs> Stupid bless, getting your Silverado back that you sold. Sadly, the guy passed away. Hmm. Well, that's good news and bad news yeah. all at once. warm over there. Okay, like that. We'll go down the line and do it a couple more times. Get that one on the end first. Sir, Kenny, close to 5,000. Heading in that direction. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I held on to it as long as I could. <laughs> Yeah. Kyle said Grace isn't allowed to date until she's 40. What'd you say? Uh, <laughs> not until she's 40, right? I said the same thing about Abigail, and that didn't work out. Second one's done, and we'll do one in the middle and call it an evening.
One more time. And then we will call it an evening. It's an evening. Get it hot enough to put the stamp in it. Oh, yeah. Our new stamp holder. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Last heat. This will be the test run for this too, won't it? I believe so. Don't dad burn it. Uh -uh. Okay. Bingo. Like it. That's good. It's only good if the customer likes it. Huh? I said it's only good if the customer likes it. That's right. <laughs> Daniel Baca said finally the treadle shed or treadle hammer gets used on camera. <laughs> treadle shed. About trying to trademark Bobby over here. Uh-huh. Not completely cool yet, but all right. So there you go. Got the three spots for holes. Got our touch mark in there, and basically, I'll just pop a hole in those with the drill press, likely, and that way you can use lag screws, countersunk screws, pretty much whatever you want to use, and. Uh, then if you need to sink them in, you can do that. If you wanted to rivet it to something, you could do it that way too. Yep. But anyway, plant hanger. There you go. It and I can already tell something I need to do with that stamp. What's that? I need to drill kind of countersunk holes huh? so that bolt can go in it to kind of set it Inside so it doesn't slide. On, on the... Yeah, I mean just... Just a bevel, yeah. just to drill back a little bit so that the bolt will tighten into that spot so it won't go up and down. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin, <laughs> ruin the touch mark, trust me. Anywho, hey everybody, thank you so much for joining in and uh, coming to see us on YouTube. Bar Run Forge on a Thursday night. Always appreciate you guys. There's the dad knee, so we're ready to shut her down. And, uh, you know, somebody brought up to me the other day about how we didn't, we haven't had a lot of content out and that's the purpose of some of what we're doing is to get ready to prepare to make more content, forging content, some other content as well. So looking forward to that this year and hopefully, uh, things will kind of 
crank up as we go. And, you know, we're, we're coming right up on 5,000. Not a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal to us. We're excited about it. Looking forward to see what God has for us next. And that's where we all really want to point everything is toward giving God, giving God the glory. You know, we got the podcast, we got the Sundays at 7, and then the Thursday night live stream. So the majority of this does point <laughs> does point to God, and we try to do that as much as we possibly can. It's all said and done, guys. Uh, we're just so grateful. We're stupid blessed, and we're blessed to have you guys in here with us as well, always. And uh, Eli, you got anything else to tell the fine folks? We'll see you all we'll Easter. Easter. There you go. Easter Sunday night. Yep. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. Right here. For a Sundays at 7. If you guys got questions, you guys got something you want to discuss, or topics and things like that, bring that up. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about it and uh, have that discussion as well. God bless you guys. We will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.